G'day, uh, welcome to NZ Radio, Guy. Alright, so I've had the uh, the UV B5 handheld dual band radio, made by Bofang for, for about a day now, and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it seems to be performing performing quite quite nicely. Um, I also have purchased um, a while ago a uh, I have a, a Bofang a UV5R handheld radio, but the new B uh, B5 seems to be uh, seems to outperform it, in my opinion. Um, it has nice audio, in both transmit and receive, and it just hey, I can I can the receive side of things seems a whole lot whole lot nicer. It's better audio. I can um I can hear. I can get the repeaters from where I couldn't before, it seems, or where it'd be a bit marginal before with the uh, with the UV5. Uh-huh. I can now get it with the uh, UVB5. So, hey, I'm I'm happy with it. It's, it seems like a really really great radio. Um, a uh, little couple of things I've uh, found. Um, what are they? Absolutely small, but in some lights, so in some light conditions. Uh, you can the RX lead appears. I think you can see some of the uh, the green circuit tree inside circuit board, and now and again it has a slight green tinge to it, so it looks as though it's receiving. Ah, hey, that's minimal. Um, the emergency call button or whatever you want to call it up on top here, um, it's good, but hey. Um, this puts the alarm tone over. It's probably not really required. I'm just being nitpicky here. <laughs> um, compared to like the other handheld radios I've, I've, I've got, the uh, three wide keypad as opposed to the four wide, um, it takes a bit of getting used to. Um, it takes a bit of getting... Here it is receiving. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the three wide keypad takes a bit of getting used to. Um, you have to go through the menu a lot more. Uh, there's not quite so many shortcuts, especially like for reducing power or reversing the uh, repeater frequencies. Um, yeah, but apart from that, it's, it's, it's quite nice. I would I would recommend it. it it's, it's a nice little radio. It seems to put out a good put out hey, a reasonable power. I haven't put it on a on a. Um, on a power meter yet, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what it puts out. Anyway, quick look at the menu. So to get into the menu, let's say we want to... What's the common thing you want to do? You want to change from high power to low power. I'm going to show you the tried and true method that will work for all um, the... There are other shortcuts, you know, menu, then press the button. But I'm going to show you the, uh, the tried and true method that will work for any of the menu options. Someone's trying out their uh, emergency tone by the sounds. Anyway, press the menu button and then use the up and down keys to go through the uh, um, the what do you call them? The menu. All the way through till you get to in this case it will be TX you get to TX power, see hi? Then you press the AB button to move the arrow down into the menu. That little arrow there. Then use up and down to select low or high. I want it on low. Press menu to confirm. Press menu to exit. And you're back to your uh, your channel mode or frequency mode, whatever it was running in. Alright, now uh, to get quickly started, um, what we'll do is we will now uh, program in a channel because I know you're all itching to get your local um, frequencies programmed in. On this radio, uh, before, when you program in the channel, you have to program the frequent the repeater offset um, and the direction, as well as anything else like CTC, CSD, the digital coded squelching, any of those functions before you save the channel. So you have to set it up so it will work on the repeater or work with the other radio and then save it as a channel. 
Um, so what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to set it up so it will run on the our local one of our local repeaters. Right, so what we do here is, as you can see, the top frequency is still in the channel mode, the bottom one's in the frequency mode. Um, and you see we're operating on the bottom one because of that little arrows there. What I'm going to do is, just for the fun of it, we're going to turn both both uh, readouts to frequency mode. Okay, just to be extra sure. So, see the arrows there? I want to get that arrow up. I do that by pressing the AB button over here and the arrow shifts up. Now, to get that that top one to, you now we're operating on top one, now to get the top one to frequency mode, we press this, uh, what is it? VM slash scan button down the bottom left. Frequency mode. And the re voice prompt will say frequency mode and your little channel buttons will disappear. You don't have to do that, all we have to do is find one of these things in frequency mode. So anyway, at the moment, we're on the top one, it's in frequency mode, you can see it's in frequency mode, the voice prompt said frequency mode, and there's no channel number. Right, now to program in our frequency, what do we want? We want, uh, we want a UHF repeater, in this case. Four, seven, six, six, zero, zero. Punch in the duplex receive frequency, so the repeater receive frequency, the one that you'll be receiving on. All right, what we want to do is we want to now set the uh, repeater's offset and the direction that we want the offset to go in. So that's the difference between, that's the, so it's the difference between the receive frequency and the transmit frequency. We want to set how far apart those frequencies have to be. So we're going to do this by pressing the menu button. Menu. And then using up and down. Select is to scroll all the way through the menu till we get to there we go offset frequency now we press the AB button to move the arrow down to work on the frequency to work on that particular menu and we just put in the uh, um, the offset and then to confirm it we press the menu and to exit the menu we press it again all right, so now what we've done is we have set the distance between the receive and transmit frequencies. Now what we want to do is we want to set the offset direction, whether it's going to be that space above the receive frequency or that space below the receive frequency. So we do that much the same. Press menu and use the up and down selectors. There you go from offset frequency. Frequency direction, that's the one we're wanting. Press the AB button on the right. So that's the one here. To go down, get the arrow down. Use the up and down to change it from a plus to uh, from a zero to a minus or to a plus. So in this case, we're running it up. To confirm it, press menu. To exit menu, press menu. Okay, it's in. Okay, now to uh, now to test that it works. Here it goes. I'm getting the tail. And as you can see, the frequency changes when I transmit, which is good. It means we're running duplex. Right, so now we've got our duplex, free, everything set up in frequency mode. Now we've got to save it to a channel. We'll do this by pressing the this button down here, bottom left. Press and hold. Memory channel. Memory channel. We use up and down selectors to go and choose what channel we want. See the little channel on the right changing? Let's go channel 91. Now to confirm it, we press the AB button over here to the right. Confirm, and it's in. Right, now let's go and change over to channel mode and see if it's in there. We change over to channel mode by pressing this double this bottom bottom button down here. Channel mode. And we're in channel mode. Use the up and down. One, to see what channel we're on, and there's our repeated channel. See? Our duplex channel. So it's all in. Now to save a simplex frequency, we'll do that the same way. <coughs> uh, we'll get back to frequency mode, and I want to save in a simplex channel. Okay, so what I've done is I've set up another radio to listen out on the other channel, so when we get it right, we'll hear it coming across on the other radio. But if we do it right, we don't need to set up the other radio. <laughs> but it's just for just so you can hear it coming working. 
Right, so what we've done, the radio is in frequency mode. Um, it's on some random, random frequency. Punch into the keypad the frequency you want to use, in this case. We've got the frequency in. Now make sure it works by pressing the transmit button or however you want to do it. Yeah, it works fine. Everything's set up in frequency mode. Now we've got to save it to a channel. We'll do this by pressing the this button down here, bottom left. Press and hold. Memory channel. Memory channel. We use up and down selectors to go and choose what channel we want. See the little channel on the right changing? Let's go channel 91. Now to confirm it, we press the AB button over here to the right. Confirm. Confirm, and it's in. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope this has been of help, and as I find any uh, new little bits and pieces, I'm sure to put them up. All the best.